Hey guys, today I'm going to show you how I made my female titan costume. Let's get started. First, I'll start by showing you how I colored the wig. I got a cheap basic light blonde wig on eBay, and I gave it a pretty simple choppy short haircut. I didn't record the cutting process because it was so basic. To color the wig, I used different shades of brown paint and watered them down. Then I brushed them through the hair starting at the roots and worked the paint in with a soft bristle brush. I continue this process throughout the entire wig creating different shades and tones. The more water you add to the paint, the thinner and less effective the color of the paint will be. So depending on how much you want to change the color will be based on how much water you add. You can water the paint down by dipping the brush in water or spraying the wig with a water filled spray bottle. I really love how painting adds so many different tones to a wig and makes it look so much more natural, especially since I only usually work with cheap synthetic wigs. I have been painting all of my wigs for years, and I taught myself this process when I was a child and styling my Barbie doll's hair. After it's all dry, I put the wig on and section the hair like it is in the anime until I'm happy with it. Next, I'm going to show you how to make Titan skin. First, I start with a turtleneck dance leotard and a pair of leggings. I got both of these items off eBay in a beige color. To know where I'm going to add seams and paint, I begin freehand tracing shapes. I trace the leotard into a thin strip on the back so it forms more to my body. I make little dots to mark areas, then I begin tracing around the chest. I look at reference images of the character to try to get the shapes right. Then I work my way down and start drawing on the abs. They're kind of a weird shape, but I try to make it as accurate as possible. I also draw on the rib muscles. And I do the same thing on the other side. When I'm done with the torso, I move up to the neck, collarbones, and shoulders. I study the details carefully and try to recreate them as best as I can. I also move on to the arms. When I'm done with the arms, I finish up by drawing on the legs. I'm not gonna lie, this process was kind of difficult to do on myself, by myself, and I had to draw on the back after taking the suit off. I would recommend tracing some harder to reach areas on a mannequin your size or having a friend help trace it on for you. After I'm done tracing out all the shapes and details, I start padding certain areas such as the abs, ribs, back, shoulders, and hip bones to add more shape and structure. I used a thin cushion padding that you can get at most craft stores and Walmarts. These are the abs after padding. I turn the suit inside out to cut off the excess padding. You can see the fine shadows created by the stitching. 
I also wanted to pad the chest to be more accurate and create an overall larger body effect. It also holds the suit against your body to keep it form-fitting and more like a natural body shape rather than clothing. First, I put on a normal non-padded soft bra. Then I pin the suit to the bra. This creates pouches to stick the padding in. To make the chest pads, I got a styrofoam ball, cut it in half, and carved it into a hollow bowl. Then I used a soft cushion padding and covered the styrofoam in a teardrop shape. After sewing the bra to the suit, you can see the little pouches created for the padding to sit in. This isn't as much about size as it is about the shape and creating a natural body curve on the outside of the bra, so you can add whatever size padding you want. Next, I sew the edge of the bottom of my leotard and pin it to my leggings. Then I sew them together. Here's the padding on the back and the shape created by making the wedge between the bum slimmer. I go over some of the stitches with glue so they don't come apart when they're stretched. Next, I get straight into the painting process. I start with the lighter colors and go over any area that needs to be lightened. I do water down the paint a bit so it goes farther and doesn't dry as stiff. I am using a cheap acrylic matte craft paint. This is the same thing I use for the wigs. You can find it at most craft stores for very cheap but I usually get it at Walmart for a dollar. After I'm done with the lighter areas, I go over the rest with red. I don't water this paint down as much because I don't want it to bleed into the other color and I need more control of the placement. But I do apply it very thin so it absorbs into the fabric and doesn't dry clumpy or flake off. This part is very tedious and time consuming so make sure you be patient. After it's all dry, I go over it with some markers and add some defined details. I really like markers because you have a lot more control than you do with paint and the lines come out a lot crisper and cleaner. I also shade it even more off camera with brushes and paints.
is the suit freshly painted and dried. There are a lot of details and every time I finished the section I'd have to wait for it to dry so I could move it or flip it over without messing up the wet paint. Next I'll show you how I did the gloves. I started with white gloves from eBay, hot glue and little pieces of craft foam. Then I glued the little pieces of foam to my knuckles. Please wear another thick glove under this glove to prevent burns. After gluing on the knuckles, I traced the shapes just like I did with the suit. Then I just painted the light parts and then painted the darker red parts. After all that dried, I added shading to the fingers and other parts of the glove. Next, I'll show you how I did the feet. I ended up just buying white toe socks from eBay. If you want, you can go with something a little more durable like toe shoes, or add some padding to the bottom of the socks. I did the same thing I did with the suit and the gloves, which was trace the shapes and then filled them in with the different colors and then shaded all the details. And that's pretty much it! Here's the suit fully finished and laid out. It's a very easy costume to put on. First I just put on the one piece suit and then I put on the toe socks. Then I put on the gloves. I cut a thumb hole in the sleeve of my suit to hold down the sleeve and stretch it out. This is by far one of my most comfortable costumes since it's essentially just dance clothes. And even though the character is pretty cool and creepy, I can't help but act goofy when I wear it. I really hope this was able to help you if you've been wanting to make a titan suit or something similar. I also have a female titan makeup tutorial and other cosplay tutorials on my channel. Feel free to go check them out. Links and other information are in the description. Thank you so much for watching guys, bye!